Ek Bharat Shreshta Bharat. This great idea was proposed by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi on 31st October 2015 to commemorate the 140th birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. This program aims to enhance interaction and promote a mutual understanding between people of different states or union territories through the concept of the state or union territory pairing. Therefore, union territory of Puducherry is paired to the union territory of Daman and Dayu. At first, we are going to see the historical background of the Dayu fort. The Dai Fort is located on the west coast of India in Dai. The fort was built by the Portuguese during the colonial rule in the year 1535, subsequent to a defense alliance forged by Bahadusha, the Sultan of Gujarat, and the Portuguese when Humayun, the Mughal Emperor, waged war to annex this territory. The fort was strengthened over the years till 1546. Portuguese ruled over this territory from 1537 till 1961 for 424 years, which is the longest period by any colonial rule in the world. The Portuguese were forced to quit only in December 1961 by the government of India through the military action called Operation Vijay, whereafter Dai was merged with India and became a Union territory. The importance of Dai Fort was highlighted by an opinion poll conducted by the Portuguese to list out the new seven wonders of Portugal built during their colonial rule the Dai Fort and Basilica of Bom Jesus in Old Goa were chosen as two wonders from India among the seven from across the world out of a list of 27 monuments built in 16 countries during the Portuguese rule. This list was declared on June 10, 2009 on the occasion of Portuguese National Day held in Portugal. With the trees and other floras in and around the fort and the swaying blue water on the horizon is a bliss to watch and enjoy. The Dai Fort, standing tall till now, is an exemplar for India's acceptance and integrity of various cultures and architecture from around the world as always. So far we have been through the Dai Fort. Now we are going to see the historical background of Puducherry's emblem Ai Mandavam. Over 400 years ago, most of the regions of India was controlled and ruled by the British. Few regions were ruled by the French, Portuguese and the Dutch. One among them was Puducherry, a beautiful city which was colonized by the French for continuous 200 years until the independence. Our state has a very important monument which now is the emblem of the state of Puducherry called as Ai Mandabam, named after Devdasi Ai. You may have a curiosity, why is this most prestigious monument is named after a Devdasi? Before the rule of French, Puducherry was ruled by the powerful monarch Krishnadevaraya of Vijayanagara Empire in 16th century. He was visiting the now Pondicherry region and he chanced upon a beautiful majestic structure lit with oil lamps and embellished with fine carvings. He was impressed by the beauty and the peaceful aura that it exuded. 
mistaking it for a grand temple. The king fell to his knees in reverence. The onlookers were stunned at the king's gesture. It was then that the king came to know that what he thought as the temple was instead home to a temple dancer Devdasi Ai. Enraged and feeling humiliated, the king ordered the home of the courtesan to be demolished. What? Is this beautiful palace belongs to a Devdasi? Tear down this palace to its roots. Tear down it right now. Tear down it right now. Devastated and heartbroken, I begged for mercy and offered to tear down the house herself. Oh my king, forgive me. It's not my fault, your highness. Let me myself tear down this palace. As per your wish, we'll build a fresh water pond and a well for the welfare of the townspeople. She requested the king to allow her to dig a pond at that spot for townspeople. The king, having calmed down, relented. I hope you walk through your words. Mm. I hope you walk through your words. I stayed true to her words and constructed a freshwater tank where her house once stood. Many years later, post a treaty between British and French. The latter regained control of Pondicherry in 1765. Extensive construction with Garner's house, churches, residential colony, library, and more was done to create the white town of Puducherry, which is the French quarters. It was around the mid of 19th century that the colonizers faced a severe water crisis. The engineer Pierre Eugene Lemerus, while scouting for alternate water resource, discovered a freshwater tank constructed by I at Mutraya Palio. He got canals dug from the pond to a central location in the French quarters. When King Napoleon III heard the age-old legend of I's sacrifice and generosity, he ordered a memorial to be built in her remembrance. As you see, the structure of I Mandavam was built in Greek Roman architectural style and it stood proudly amidst the important buildings in the then town square of French colony. Post independence, the Indian administration of Pondicherry decided to respect the memorial by making it the official emblem. Today, the memorial is enclosed within the Bharati Park. The monument that has a fountain and a pediment with a sculpture of I and a pot is lit up in the evening. The monument, built in memory of a humble courtesan, is proof enough that kings may come and go, empires may rise and fall, but it is an act of kindness that leaves a lasting impression on the memories for ages to come.